Welcome back. Second series of the day, Gorilla versus TNC Predator. Davis. To be a bit careful, Dockers does get the shackles off, they're gonna have the Starbreaker as well, Mavis is looking very much dead, and that will be the case, Asta, there's nothing he can do, Dockers with a level 2 shackles heals himself up so much, Orb of Corrosion is there, so Dockers is actually a target, but Mavis, he is a much bigger one, going for Dockers, he does have the shackles, gonna start healing himself up, and the TP is coming in from the Rubik, he knows that this boy can stay alone on the bottom lane, Dockers is looking very much dead, Asta finishes him off, Carlo wants to assist, they want to go for the Dawnbreaker, Five, 4 more seconds until the Celestial Hammer does have the magic one charges, so, uh, there's absolutely no chance that you're gonna be getting the skill, nice attempt there from BDZ to surprise them, he's trying to keep up, uh, he'll be able to do so in terms of CS. We'll see what happens once uh, he gets one more level. Meanwhile, Carlo in a bit of trouble. That's a three versus two scenario, and you are losing. Dawnbreaker doesn't have one charges, but Dazzle is coming over to assist. They're gonna turn around on Asta. Asta is in so much trouble. Jumps to the side, but one more hit from Google. Go will make sure that he doesn't move. You don't move. You're now a chicken. Bok, 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 running away. Well, you will not run away fast enough, and the DP from the Mars isn't gonna come out in time. Finally, there's gonna be a healing salve that is gonna be a tango. Dawnbreaker will be fine. Krish, he kills the uh, Carlo yet again. What were you doing there? Even Carlo is gonna survive. You don't have any spells to do the damage. It's gonna be Krish getting the double kill. The Smars just dancing around. Do, 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 do. do they know where Fonty is? They did see him on Vision just a second ago. Fonty is looking very much dead. The arena in three. There's gonna be a uh, DD used and Krish is waiting for that blade mail to end, but actually he didn't, and now he has to run into his death, the Illuminate will be doing the damage, and it's actually gonna be the Celestial Hammer that gets the kill. Trying to push the mid lane. Fonty is there, having the blade mail makes him not such an easy target. Meanwhile, Mars has been caught. He just died. He doesn't want to die again. The Solar Solar Guardian and Krish will now feel the heat in a good way. It wasn't good just a second ago, but the Illuminate heal. The Golem drops. It's not going to be there in time. Asta might be in trouble. Oh, finally, it's going to be Donkers falling. Asta is surviving, but in the end, dies to the Spectral Dagger of Fonty. White and Guo Go and Fonty will bail from this one, but they'll get Asta. They'll get Krish as well. The two cores will be going down. Shadow Shaman coming over. Bok needs to be very careful. The Poison Touch is there. It really doesn't bother him that much. But the Shackles, the Illuminate, it just might. Bok, where can he go? What can he do? Return back to our tower and die. He gets the Chakram out, but no one is gonna be afraid of your blunt blades. Spectre going for a Radiance, Blade Mail into Radiance is not gonna be an Acceptor uh, build. Dawnbreaker going for Mavis, and now the Stolen Sword Guardian is gonna be there yet again. Carlo still has it, he's gonna eat the Spirit Vessel, taking a lot of damage. Yes, Carlo, we wanted you to come over, and we wanted you to die. Fonte comes over as well, looking towards Asta, who seems to be surviving, but Warlock will not follow the same fate as it's scary this time around. They only get the support. Spectre, though, approaching the Sacred Relic. That Radiance is coming over fairly soon. Shadow Shaman is Dockers baiting here. It seems to be the case. They have the Solar Guardian, but then again, there's a Chaotic Offering. They're gonna wait for two of those heroes, both of them getting stunned up, and here comes the Spectre as well. Nice Chaotic Offering, my friend, but yet again, the two supports will die. The PA is running away like a coward, leaving his supports to die. Asta, save them, help them, and he knows that he cannot. Bok. Tangent Kaya, he knows he needs to be doing the damage. Meanwhile, mid lane, they're going for the Mars. He doesn't have the BKB just yet. And uh, even if he had it, he would have died there in a second. The Spectre coming over. They're now going to find out that there's a Radiance. What was stolen? It's a Solar Guardian yet again. So, Carlo can heal his teammates if the time comes. Here comes the Golem. Bok might be needing some heal. Dawnbreaker uses the BKB. Where's the Solar Guardian? Come on, use it. He is afraid because he knows he might just bring himself into death as well. Mavis will die too. The dice from Gorilla are insane. And they would like to go for more, but they will allow TNC, the rest of their pack, to live. They're gonna have some buybacks to use. Now, two of their heroes are coming in. They get X onto the Timbersaw, has the Lotus Orb, but you still need to use it. He will not move. Oh, yes, he will. Krish comes over to save him. You're not gonna save anyone. The TP out goes for Krish, and the Golem is there to cover for him. The Spectral ulti was used. 
Haunt is there. And Fonty, he gets another one right now. He's wicked sick. He died once and then he got seven kills in a row. You're gonna need Ghost Scepters or such to survive against the damage of the Spectre. Not going for anything like that. Bok chasing forward. There is no Spectral Haunt. They're gonna break the A on this immediately. Dockers is looking very much dead, but there might be a grave. He gets the shackles onto the Timber Saw. No BKB use it from Asta. He's taking a lot of damage. Now he uses it. Turns around the Dockers. There's no more grave and he's dead. Now turns around even more. Lutasa is looking very much dead and with the crit, he'll finish the job. Now looking towards Font, he actually needs to get himself out. Goes to the side, but the Dawnbreaker is chasing the Solar Vine, still keeping it in place. Where's the lift from the Rubik? It's not there. Gonna have a jump out from Astra, but no, because his Rubik is already dead. Krish comes in to assist, but he's not gonna be able to assist in anything. He does get a kill onto the Connell. It's a 3 for 3. The best fight that TNC has had so far in this game. And this Warlock Golem is cutting them all down. Feel the wrath of my Katana. No, feel the wrath of my hammer, my friend. And now there's gonna be a. Uh, a shadow step again and Fonty even without the haunt now he has the small one every single time so he just steps through the shadows smoke now from Gorilla. Dockers is gonna try finding someone. Asta, he breaks the smoke, uses the BKB, goes with the bash, isn't gonna be good enough. No, the grave does come out. They already lost the Warlock, going for a TP out. Will be fine. Ooh, barely gets out of that one alive. Again, they're gonna be losing the two supports. TNC last fight, you might have gotten a few kills. Now you'll get no one. You will just run away. But the Hex comes out. There is two chickens there. Are they gonna mate? No, it's only gonna be Bok on the receiving end of that. And he gets shackled and brought down. They're all about magic damage. The Spectre goes somewhere. Gonna be onto the Mars. Being absolutely destroyed by the illusions. He just wants to outpush the wave. And Warlock shows himself just to die. What the hell were you doing there? They also found the Rubik. There's gonna be a lot of stakes there. And here comes the Solar Guardian to smash the ground. On which the Rubik has died. Dockers will eat a dagger. But he doesn't mind. Still has an A on this. Will be more than fine. This... First lane of Rax is gone. Asta is trying to do something, but he's way too weak. He just hasn't farmed as much as he would want. Chris uses the BKB just to pop the A on this. Not even that. He's going to be successful. And finally, he does get one from the Dazzle as well. His BKB is gone. And now hexed up and brought down easily. He does have a buyback. Asta, he can't even find Fonty's illusion. A few hits and he will die. Has to pop the BKB to survive. Bok goes in. Trying to do the damage. There's the buyback. A nice spear connects. Fonty, he might actually die after so much time. But the blinding light protects him. And no, the PA comes in. That's a broken specter and a lot of gold. He's gonna add some Mavis. Mavis, what are you doing? Your PA needs money. The Bash is gonna be in there on the Dawnbreaker and Asta gets a double kill. Where's my triple? Well, one of my supports took it away. Even the Fatal Bonds have not been kicking in, but Asta leading the charge. Aegis Aghanim Scepter, Dockers, gonna be found, the Undisk pop, he still does have a BKB on Asta, but he's gonna be hexed up, they need to break those stuns right now, Asta, where's your BKB, he's not popping it, he already lost his life, the one, one of his lives though, no, uh, no breaker, getting himself out, he does have two star breaker charges with level 25, now going for go go, that's gonna be another A on this pop, they didn't even get the golem off, Carlo, looking very much dead, he needs to get up into his base, lifts himself up, and gets himself out, Asta finally popped the BKB, but now he's alone, they need to kill Dockers, but there's gonna be a missile that you're killing no one you're staring in place and with a star breaker you'll get broken you thought your shard was gonna break someone but not if we do it to you first this is looking like the end of the line there's nothing that TNC can do they can try though Krish wants to fight doesn't even have the refresher orb and he doesn't have the arena I don't know what he hopes to accomplish it's gonna be a lot of fire there but he's only burning down his own house you better use that one on the enemy side of the map oh yeah you can't get there because you're losing this game so damn hard Rubik now caught he does have the end this and a spear get into my fountain he'll just run away why Chen is way too fast with the blinding light the Mars will lose his eyes and it's better that way so that he can't see while his team gets absolutely obliterated by the side of Gorilla in game number one they clean out the Rubik everyone on TNC is dead and their throne will fall you know uh, it should be a farm trade not much happening here Y Chan probably already getting his bottle, but top lane, they caught the Medusa again. This is really bad for Asta. Asta had some problems in the previous game. He's gonna have even more in this one. Ideally, when you are uh, when you're a vampire, you want to find a nice lady to bite her neck, but if you can't get anything, you'll be okay with it being in uh, an old hag like the Snapfire as well. I'm dying. The Starbreaker doesn't connect, but it doesn't mean that he's gonna live. He does have the Fairy Fire still. Might actually be able to survive all of this. Another spike is coming in a second, but the Thunder God's Wrath will be the thing that finishes him off. Wai Chen will be taking that kill for himself and he's gonna find the DD too. Now the first arena will be used and Snapfire has no chance of survival. It's gonna be the God's Rebuke. 
Asta in some trouble. He turns on the mana shield. Will go through your mana right now. Turn him into a fishy and cook him super fast. A free fillet. She was already a fish and now she's an even smaller one. This usually trying to escape. Not gonna be happening. They have the arena, so there's gonna be retaliation for the death of Asta. This time around, Mavis though gets a double kill. His zombies will be eating the brains of the Zeus. Will be eating the tree there. Now here comes the Zeus as well. The Dark Ascension might need to get used for him to escape. But here comes the Hex as well. He's gonna attempt to do it with a Starbreaker. They missed the stun block. It's way too fast. Okay. Not fast enough to escape lightning. <laughs> Oh, they found a uh, stack as well. The nice talker might need to come there. The arena is ready with the spin already being used. Fonty could lose his life. The spirit doesn't connect. And Fonty now trying to run away. He has to go for the army slash. He gets fed a cookie. And there's the army slash. That's the perfect turnaround. The stun from the line will connect on Christian. Fonty is fighting. He is fighting. And he has won a fight. Has to have a healing ward. A flying fish. That is something you don't see every day. The nice talker though. Will try to fight, but not gonna be happening. The first Dark Ascension will do absolutely nothing. They use the scan. They know that the that uh, Grill are coming. TNC are in a good position. And now the ulti. They know exactly where they are. Dockers jumps in. This is not looking good. And now it's gonna be a big turnaround. These three heroes are dead. Just let them die. The Juggernaut would like to live, but he's leave. He's gonna get silenced up. Trying for a TP out will be securing that he gets himself out. Go, go, though. He's not gonna be so lucky. He already saw two of his friends die. And the spear through the old heart of the Snapfire. So Gorilla, when it comes to global presence, they ha definitely have more of it with the Solar Guardian. Dawnbreaker goes towards the bottom lane. They want to save the, uh, the Zeus. Will be able to do so. He'll jump to the side. Zeus is still alive. Why Chen? Can he survive? He does have the ult. He doesn't want to use it because he's going to be making his presence known. And now that stray arrow for the Medusa gets the kill. Meanwhile, already the line has died. And Go Go is being chased down. They slow him down. They're going to have all of the stuns necessary. Meanwhile, Asta in some trouble. We've already seen this fight. Asta is taking some damage. There's going to be a heal there. A mana heal. An HP heal. Everything is there. Dawnbreaker, can she survive? Can she win? No, she cannot. Two versus one, you will lose, but Al Asta will lose as well. There are no winners here. Just kidding. TNC are the winners because they clean out four. Bai Chen finds an invis. He's gonna use it immediately. And uh, uses the spell. The Dark Ascension was used. They see their enemies perfectly. Go, go. I'm pretty sure you're gonna be going down. And Bai Chen decides he should go down with him. There is no reason for you to die there. But he says he is my friend. I'm gonna die with him if I won't. Even the finger of death being used. Chris, he doesn't even feel it. Monty, trying to go for a tier 2. Mavis is there. The glyph has been used. Asta doesn't have that much mana. Needs to be careful. If he gets caught. And there he is. They found him. They have Mortimer's Kisses. All of the mana being taken away. But Asta is still alive. He gets his ulti off. Dockers is looking very much dead. Turned to stone. And Wychen, a little trouble. Jumps to the side. He will need to TP. But he is not moving. He doesn't have a TP. He doesn't have movement speed. He is staying in place. He's literally crippled. You're not really flying too fast, my friend. And TNC get another victory. Dumb. Why Chan threatening with the ulti? We can hear the thunder, but where is the lightning? There it is. Asta being caught. He doesn't have mana for the ulti. He will die the once, but you're gonna be fighting around the tombstone again. Asta is still alive. It's taking some time for them to kill him, and they've lost the Zeus. They've lost the lion. They're gonna lose their juggernaut as soon as your Omni Slash ends. You're gonna be slashed to death. This is how killing is done. They call GG. Gorilla are done. They can't fight this game any longer. They were just going forward and forward and forward. And TNC, again, they lose game number one. And in game two, they win in 20 minutes despite being destroyed in the laning phase. Gorilla and TNC Predator are gonna fight it out one more time in game number three of the upper bracket finals for the side of Gorilla. Maybe if Mavis gets a little bit out of position, he dies. But... Other than that, should be I should be fine. I think we should be looking at the bottom lane a bit more. D is not out of position, but he's definitely taking a lot of damage, and Mavis is gone. Dockers gets the first blood. Mavis. Blowing down Dockers. Dockers is lo looking dead, and with the Melt Strike. They're probably gonna be quite happy with this game. The Dockers did have a really good early game earlier as well. Y Chen has been caught. No swashbuckle. Does have the fairy fire. Has a few bottle charges as well. Will be able to swashbuckle up the hill. Actually goes to the side, thinking he's gonna be able to get a rune. Guo Guo taking some damage there. Saving his core, but might pay with his life. Dodging the torrent. Nicely done. Krish though is losing the run buff. And now is in some trouble. The swashbuckle gets the kill. They do kill Guo Guo first. And now rolling thunder. They're gonna try going for maybe some the other part of the map. They've lost the 
there late as well. Mavis is looking like he might actually die. Weichen, though, doesn't have the mana and the pause is there. We know in the Mamma Mia movie what dot 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 means. Wai Chen gonna get hit by the tower. The boss going forward. He needs to go for the rune, but he doesn't know where it is. So I'm gonna deal with it myself. All right, we'll back. Monty has been caught again. They have the spear. We'll send him back. With the splinter blast doing a lot of damage. He does have the magic one. Turns around to fight. And they're trying to at least get some turnaround kills. But Carlo is going to be more than fine. Go, go. Might be in some trouble as well with the splinter blast. So they're going to have the uh, shackles. The shadow shaman is healing himself back up to almost half HP. And they even kill, get the kill as well. Supports are usually greedy here. But the TPs are coming in. Here comes Dockers. Mavis does have the Winter's Curse. He gets on stuff. So not going to be using it just yet. Yeah, Dockers gets himself up. Maybe he's taking some damage. Go, go inside of the arena. The spear misses. Bok, that's a big mistake. Now the ulti from Mavis, but he dies there to the arcane bolt. Here comes the torrent. Getting go go away. But they have baited TNC in quite hard. And here comes the Pango as well with the Sans and the Kunkka. They'll have the rolling thunder. There's nothing he can do about the stop. And he can't even get the drunk. He would love to die while not feeling the pain. But wouldn't we all? He does feel it. Bok will be the next one just trying to survive with the God's Rebuke. Get away from me. We will not. Why, Chen? He cuts it down from the back. Your big shield, it might work, but only if you have the guts to face me. Bottom lane. Night Stalker being hunted, TP's out, they take the trees down and the Night Stalker will get caught, but here comes the Solar Guardian, it will be protected, but he doesn't really like the sun, he doesn't like anything about the sun, and now they're both going to die, they get the X on the Night Stalker, this is where you die, gets drowned there by the Kunkka, but Dockers and Whitechen are coming over, they're looking towards Mavis, trying to kill him, will they be able to do so, the Mystic Flare will be enough, Rolling Thunder going in on Christian Bok, they're still not gonna allow to get this tower and now looking towards Bog that Rolling Thunder will be doing some damage but it's not gonna be enough Ponty, this time around, they're going for him. The X is there. He's gonna be needing some help on the Kunkka to get the kill on Ponty. And with the uh, TP from Carlo, should be enough. They have the slow, no Sunder on the Terrorblade. And even if he had, he wouldn't move an inch. And they will slay the big demon. Where do they wanna go? Was this spotted by their enemies? No. And Mavis is there to break the smoke. He might not even die. Bok sees the enemies. The Kakasi shot not gonna connect on anyone. But the Wyvern has been disarmed. She doesn't have any weapons anyways. But she dies either way. Now the arena being used. Dockers is looking very much dead. And the arena damage will be enough. Go, go. Trying to get himself out. Another X will be in there in time. Chen. Oh, Carlo tried to get that one. But it just doesn't have the reach. They see Ast on the top lane, but he has seen this nice talker on both vision and the uh, and the traps. The rolling thunder being used. They found Dockers. He's gonna try to kill the Winter Wyvern with the Solar Guardian. They'll try to save Dockers as well. Nice Winter's Curse. Connect onto the three of them. Pango has been caught. He needs to get out of the arena right now. He tries to, but he takes so much damage from the right clicks. TA, that's without the death so What happens when TNC gets the death so Night Stalker going forward, they want to fight. There are no ultis on the side of TNC. Kunkka no BKB just yet. He gets the X off, but the torrent will not connect. They're looking towards Asta. Fonti actually wants to fight, but look at the damage onto y -Chan. Is he gonna die just like that, Krish? Needs just one more hit, but the spear will do the trick. Now look at Asta, just going forward. They'll get the X onto the Terrorblade. You can't die like this, but you most definitely will. Can he get the Sunder off? There it is. Give me your soul. But Fonti in the end, he's the one that's gonna be giving his soul away. Is this a hero with a lot of armor? Where, where is it now? Because I'm gonna take it all away. Now X, onto the vampire. They kill one, they kill the other. Come into our hands. This is where we want you. The BKB is gonna be his next item. The Mithril Hammer is already being delivered. Come on, that's 2,000 gold in, uh, in a minute. What is this GPM coming out from Asta? Engelman is getting more and more farmed. Krish has found Dockers. He does have a BKB. We'll use it right now. Where's the Dark Ascension? Not using it just yet. The boat will connect with White Chan. Not really doing that much damage. Dockers does have the Ghost Scepter. And White Chan is still dead, even with the Solar Guardian. That heat will not help. The Dark Ascension wasn't even used. He lost all of his mana. Goo Goo is dead as well. Gorilla, one more time. They're just running onto TNC. Are we gonna see another 20 minute game, Gorilla? So, what's the play from uh, Gorilla? Let's
let's see it. Okay, Dawnbreaker. It really would be sad if he dies right now. Okay, he does survive for now, though. The chase is still on, and there's the Tidebringer. The Tide comes. Night Stalker might need to take out Flight. Doesn't even have the BKB. Where's your BKB? It's in the courier. Bok has killed Whitechon on the other part of the map with the DD. Kunkka will cut him down. Actually, the Night Stalker is surviving not for long. He just turned around to use the Tidebringer on the creeps, and while this is happening, Fonte is telling to his team, yo, guys, I can carry you. I can do it for sure. Believe me, I'm a good counter to the TA. No one, no one cares about your counters. Immediately, Gorilla come out of their base to fight. It wasn't even a fight. It was a slaughter. Applying the death zone onto both of the Raxes, but Ari is gonna be focusing on the melee ones. The range ones will stay low, but they might survive for now. The top lane ones won't, but the mid lane ones at least something for Gorilla. They're going for something bigger. They're going for the vampire. The vampire is flying. Now it's a flying sheep. It's no longer a vampire. It turns back to his original form very fast, but it's gonna be daytime, so he has nowhere to go. We claim this territory. One small step for us. Uh, but a big step for the TNC lineup, the new one that is going to be going into their first grand finals. And look at this, the, the Terrorblade uses the meta, look at how much they care. Oh, you're doing so much damage, we don't know what to do, just kidding. They slap him down to the lower bracket, Gorilla. You are not able to fight against us, TNC, again. They give a little bit of a scare to their fans. In game number one, they lose against Gorilla, but game two, they stomp. Game three, they stomp as well. I